We're going to continue our adventure with the Combra Macro Assembler developer system by modifying our program and splitting out the print logic into its own library to make our main hello.asm more readable. Let's kickstart things with loading boot all. We're going to go retrieve our hello.asm. And what we're going to do is we're going to carve out the code from 1030 to 1100 into um, a file that is a macro that we can just call from here. So we're going to modify this and then save it as our new print.lib. So let's get started. We'll make this the macro definition. Call it print. Uh, we don't need this anymore. Don't need this. We're going to keep this. So we're going to uh, actually we're going to keep uh, 1030. All right, we want to delete from 1110 to the end. We're going to make uh, 1200.mnd. So that's the, where the macro will end. And now we're going to replace some of these things with uh, macros. So for HW text, we're going to we're going to take parameter one. All right. Um, we're going to replace L start with parameter two. And then lastly, we're going to replace LEND with parameter 3. The way the parameters work is if they don't um, get called from the calling source code, they are replaced with labels that are just generated by the assembler. So what's cool about that is we can reuse this macro multiple times from the caller, and it will just put in you know, uh, are the appropriate uh, memory addresses for the labels at 1040 and 1100, anywhere we see two and three. But since we're passing in parameter one, it'll keep parameter one, which should be the location of the text we want to print. So let's save this. reload hello.asm and we're going to modify it to call our new library. So at line 900 let's include a reference to print.lib very cool and then let's uh, remove the lines from 1030 to 1100 and then 1030 is going to be very simply a call to our macro so now our program looks like this very uh, short very easy to read let's save it and uh, compile it and see how it works We can see that it uh, brought in the print.lib and the colors.lib. Now let's run our loader. Oh, let's kill the editor first. Run the loader. And our code, once again, is the exact same length. That's a good sign. 
still works. And just for completeness, let's save this executable. Let's restart the computer, load it, and run it again. And it works. And just a final review of the files on our disk at the end of this project. As you can see at the end, we have hello.asm, a colors.lib, and a print.lib which makes up the source code to our program. Thanks for watching.